Well, good morning, good morning, everybody. We are here in Long Lake still. Yeah, we are getting ready to get out of here, though. It's a gorgeous morning, though. Look at that nice sunshine, all that good stuff. So let's get out of here and have ourselves an awesome day. Eighteen wheels rolling down the road Nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for the satellite and radio I see W. Dell, he's in Red System 2. Dave Dudley, Red Survive, I thank it for you. The gear jamming, truck driving on the road, fan. The real deal made you feel like you were the man. The hag and the possum and the man in black. We lost them for a while, but we got them all back. Thank God for the satellite and radio. For good trucking music, there's a place to go. The rig rock repeat team and road dog show. Thank God for the satellite radio. Thank God for the satellite radio For good trucking music there's a place to go J.W. Country Dan and Truckin' Bozo Thank God for the satellite radio Yeah, for down home country and old rock and roll The truckers love satellite radio Yes, they do Man, it's good to truck down the road and listen to the greatest singers in the world again. Like Merle Haggard, Bill Anderson, Porter Wagner, Eddie Rabbit, Del Reeves, Hank Thompson, George Jones, Johnny Cash, Jim Carter, Loretta Lynn, Bourbon Husky, Elvis, Buck Owens, Buddy Holly, Moe and Joe, Mickey Gilly, Waylon Willie, Mel Street, Conway Twitty. Tammy Wynette, Dolly Parton, Freddie Hart, Ernest Tubb, Hank Williams, Patsy Cline, Brenda Lee, Little Jimmy Dickens, Leona Williams, Jack Green, Hank Snow, Gary Stewart, Jerry Reed, Carl Perkins, and Jerry Lee. We are getting closer to Nipigon, Ontario, that is. Yeah, they got a Tim Hortons in the Nipigon. I think we are due for a Timmy's. Yeah. Get a good Tim Hortons cup of coffee and a donut or something like that. I think that will just do us some real good. Yeah. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to stop in for a Timmy's. Oh yeah. We got about 27 kilometers to go. To highway 17 I guess you want to call it I'm on highway 11 and then we got a couple of kilometers down to Nipigon and we will be in Nipigon yeah so probably about one I'll say yeah probably about 30 30 minutes or something like that we'll be we'll be in Nipigon oh look at that this truck wants to go faster than me Oh well, let him. He can pass, it's legal right now to pass, so. Nobody coming either, so. Well, that's weird. Different company pulling a bison trailer. Oh well. I guess he knows what he's doing. Seen a lot of cops out here today. I also heard the other day that they uh, changed some rules up here in uh, in Canada for distracting driving and stuff like that. They raised the fines and all kinds of stuff. They're gonna start enforcing it a little more and all that stuff. So you gotta pay more attention to what you're doing, I guess, out here on the road now. 
we as commercial drivers, we should always be paying attention to what we're doing, but we're all human, we all make mistakes sometimes, and not all of us pay 100% attention all the time, but and I'm guilty of it too. Oh yeah, definitely. I think if anybody's going to say they're perfect, they're lying to you. <laughs> I certainly ain't perfect. I make mistakes too. And I'm not always paying attention to what I'm doing. But that's the way it goes. As human beings, we can't be perfect. But some people will disagree. They think they're perfect, but not me. <laughs> Anyways, it's an absolutely gorgeous day out here. That is for sure. I mean, just look at it. Just look at it it's nice and sunshine a little tiny bit clouds up there oh yeah the sun is uh, really warm here on my arm just perfect I love it I love summer I really do oh yeah I love summer would have been nicer though if I could have gone camping a little more often this summer but we did at the beginning of the summer but then everything came to a standstill after that, so I don't know if we're going to go camping now. I doubt it, but we'll see. We'll see, I guess. Yep. Anyways, I think we will be uh, delivering our load tomorrow afternoon, and I also discovered something yesterday uh, evening. Uh, that I hadn't uh, discovered yet. I, uh, I was up there in Pennsylvania as you guys know and uh, It was so hot down there. I had to run my AP unit all the time for my AC So I never discovered this before and uh, Yesterday evening I didn't need the AC or nothing. So I was warming up some food in the microwave and it used to be like about two minutes of the usage of the microwave, my AP unit would come on and it would start charging the batteries. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Even after about eight or nine minutes of the microwave usage, still it wouldn't come on. I even had my running lights on and everything. Normally it would have been no problem. AP unit would have been running for a long time and uh, it wasn't happening. So uh, I didn't think anything of it. I just thought, well, you know, I just come off the road after 12 and somewhat hour drive. You know, it would have been, the batteries were nice and full. I guess they weren't low enough, so. But then this morning, my alarm kept going off and going off, and my unit is not starting, so. So then I realized, well, I guess since I got the chip change, uh, that, that computer chip changed in uh, Fargo there the other day, I guess after that I never tried it before, you know, so I think uh, I think what might have happened is uh, because the computer chip got changed, maybe the settings uh, are not uh, the same anymore, so I uh, called uh, Thermo King in Winnipeg, and I'm going to get in there tomorrow afternoon, they're going to look at it, and, uh, I think they just got to change the settings, because they can adjust it on uh, what voltage the uh, AP unit is supposed to come on like uh, what voltage the battery's level is you know because it reads the voltage on how many voltage the uh, batteries have and it goes on according to the settings that they set it at and I think what happened is uh, the new chips that they installed I think they they are a little low the settings so we got to change them so that it comes on sooner so I think that's what they got to do I think that's all it is simple simple thing like that but Anyways, that's what we gotta get fixed tomorrow afternoon, and then uh, hopefully it will be good after that, you know, because I really need that uh, AP unit to come on when my batteries are low, you know, and even all over over the whole night that my lights on, the AP unit never came on, as far as I know. I mean, I was sleeping throughout the night, but uh, early morning I woke up and my alarm is beeping every few minutes, you know, and Paul has got this thing there, uh, your batteries are low, the damn thing beeps in the back there, you know, and it woke me up. So, uh, so yeah, we gotta, gotta get that fixed, but 
Anyways, let's cruise along here and uh, see if we can uh, make a two and a pick tonight. I know I got a little bit of a late start today again. I know I did that yesterday too, so I know I can legally make it to Winnipeg and I will probably make it to Winnipeg, but the question is at the Petro there, just as you come into Winnipeg, will I find a parking spot in there, you know, that's, uh, that's the hardest part. <laughs> but if not, I'll just go to our terminal in Winnipeg and I'll sleep in the terminal there, it's no big deal. Uh, anyways, let's continue on with our journey and have ourselves a lot of fun while we are at it. Just look at the water, how calm it is over there to the right. That tells you it's not windy one little bit. Just look at it, it's just super, super, super calm. And it's all the way across too. I know we're probably past it right now, but I've been looking at it here for the last little while. I just love it. It is just beautiful. It would be a beautiful day to be out there fishing right now. Well, it almost looks like they made a little bit of a new stretch of highway here. Looks like they cut away at that mountain here to the left. Yeah, so they're not as close to the mountain anymore. I don't know what they're planning on doing, but yeah, a brand new uh, little stretch of highway here. <laughs> But yeah, that's just a gorgeous, gorgeous lake up there to the right. Absolutely beautiful. Drive alongside it. Nice little lake like that. Got a little bit of mountains here to the left. Well, quite, quite, not that quite tall, but oh, nice little hills, you know. Just a good scenery, that's it. Just figured we had to show it to you guys. Well guys, we got ourselves a good cup of coffee, Tim Hortons coffee. So let's open this bad boy. Oh, that's some good coffee. Got a good chocolate cream, Boston cream. I'm gonna have that in a minute or two. But before we do that, we gotta send a satellite message that we will be available in Steinbach, Manitoba on 09 Friday is the 4th so 04 yeah go on a mini trip Alright, go on a short trip to be home on 09, 07, 15, at 1800, single, yeah, wife is with me. Yeah, so we gotta let them know that my wife is gonna be coming along with me on the next short trip, I believe. If nothing happens. So we need to be back on the 7th. We got all that filled out. Yes, there we go. It's always a good idea to do this when you are stopped somewhere. So that way we do some safe driving. Yeah. So let's do the logbook here. And then we gotta get out of here. At least I want to get out of here. <laughs> yep. There we go. Make sure my Bluetooth is uh, connected to the uh, phone. So that way we don't get ourselves in trouble. So let me finish my cup of coffee and the donut here and then we'll get out of here in a minute or two and we'll see you guys a little bit later. Well guys, we are still cruising along here in Ontario on Highway 17 now. Yeah! We just went through uh, Ignis, Ontario here a little bit ago. 
we probably got about an hour to uh, ride in uh, ride in Manitoba. Yeah, so it looks like we got about yeah, I don't know for sure. Looks like about 400 clicks to Winnipeg. Yeah, that's what that would make sense. Because I know from Brighton it's 350 to uh, to Steinbach. It's pretty much exactly the same to Winnipeg. So to uh, to where the first truck stop is. So we're about 100 clicks before Brighton. So that would kind of make sense. 450. That's what it says to our terminal, but so yeah, we we're riding along here pretty good. We're making pretty good time today. You know, what do we got up here? Got all kinds of cones up here on the side of the highway, but I'm not sure what they're doing. Looks like they're just cleaning the ditch or something. Not exactly sure what they're doing. They're doing something. Yeah. Oh well. Continue on though. We had a little bit of construction there prior to this, but now, well, here we are, just cruising along and enjoying the day and having a fantastic day. That's for sure. At least I am. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as well. So, we should be in Winnipeg bright and early, I think. We got about a quarter to three right now. So, yeah, another five hours we should be in Winnipeg. So we got three, so four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight o'clock, that's actually not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, but I will make another pit stop. I'll probably stop here and drive. Yep, go we'll use the restroom in there. And after that good cup of Tim Horton's coffee, we need to release it somewhere too, right? <laughs> yep, yeah, that's the way it goes. That's life. What goes in must come out. That's what they say. At least most of it. Anyways, I'm grossing you out probably by now. <laughs> I hope I'm not, but whatever. Yeah, it's nice and warm up here today. 28 degrees, that's what my truck shows. That's very nice, very nice for September. That is very, very nice. I'll enjoy every minute of it. Oh yeah, still nice and green too. Everything is nice and green up here in Manitoba and Ontario. I heard they got some rain up there in uh, Vancouver and uh, Seattle and all that area too. So they should be done with the wildfires now, I hope. Because all that rain that they got there over the last couple of days, my cousin is over there right now. And He's saying it's been raining for the last few days, so that's good. At least that drought will be over with, you know. Anyways, we'll continue on with our journey. Alrighty guys, we are just about to enter Manitoba. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm back into my province. Here we go. Welcome to Manitoba. Yeah, RJ, tell him. Let me hear it. Crossing border, entering Manitoba. That's right. Six hundred meters. Keep to the right on Trans Canada Highway. Yeah, Highway because one. we want to keep on the right here because we don't want to be on the left over there because that is the scale house, the chicken house, as we like to call it as truckers. Some call it coop. Some call it chicken house. Some just plain uh, call it uh, simple scale DOT way station. Road for 140 kilometers. 140 kilometers to Highway One. So about one and a half hours we should be coming into Winnipeg. Yeah, that ain't too bad. So we got quarter after six. Well, not a phone call, so we'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, we are pulling into the Petro Pass. Well, on the outskirts of Winnipeg, yeah, looks like there actually is still a little bit of room in there. I thought it was going to be fuller in there by the time I pulled in here. Might not be able to see what I'm talking about, but there is actually room in there to park. 
Yes, sir, Bob, there is. That's good, though. I did work really hard to try and get her early enough so I can get me a parking spot, and it worked. Yeah, I like it. I like it. So let's see. I might have to back her in a while. There is a couple spots over there, but they're forward leaning. I kind of really don't like that, so I'm going to back her into one of these spots over here, and I'm more on a straight edge, you know. So, yeah. Look at that, we got a bunch of spots open here yet. Yep, that's right. I'm gonna back her in over here. And I'll back in right beside this guy here on this side. Yeah, I think that'll be good for me. Yep. Right about there. Yeah, so we'll see you guys in a little bit. The day has come to an end for me. Yeah, I've been sitting here for a while. As you guys saw earlier, I was backing in here when the light was still on. The sun was still up. Now we're done. I finished putting together a video for you guys. It's rendering right now. Yeah. So, uh, we, uh... We'll be going to bed here very soon, I think. I'm tired. I've had a long day today. Got about a, almost a thousand kilometers in. Not quite. I think it was like 970 kilometers, so about 610 miles or something like that. So, yeah. So we are finito. So as figured, I would finish the video for today. And, uh go to bed so thank you guys for watching and be sure to stick around for tomorrow have a good one it's time to get going it's time to move on put this behind me